All right. We are keeping an eye on the radar. As you can see, there's not much to watch. Just a nice clean sweep. And that's the way it's going to stay not only today, but as we get through really the next couple of days. So that's going to be nice for us still. We have our cold front that is now far off to the east. Our high pressure has left us, but it's still frost of sunshine. It's uh, warmed us up a little bit. It may not feel like it yet, but uh, it also is keeping us dry for now. So all things are well in the weather world, even though it feels so much colder and it is colder. We are seeing our temperatures anywhere from 11 to 22 degrees cooler than it was this time yesterday yesterday because yesterday this is when that cold front had started to move through and again even though we see these numbers and you may say yikes that's cold it is cold it's mostly because we aren't used to it because we were spoiled earlier this week with uh, potentially record-breaking heat and now we're back to where we should be for this time of year so reality sometimes uh, is a pain you know all right 36 degrees in Jonesboro 40 in Memphis 44 in Corinth Corinth I can't talk. I need more caffeine. 33 in Tunica. You can see it is cold no matter where you live. So you definitely want to prepare for that. Now, as we head through the rest of the day, we are going to see sunshine help us get these temperatures back up. Wind chill will not be an issue all day long, but we will see it as we head into the afternoon into the mid 60s, where we will find our high temperature of about 65 degrees. Again, that's right where we should be. Now, once that sun sets, though, we will start to see, of course, temperatures getting much cooler. So we'll be keeping an eye on that and we're also keeping an eye on Ada. She finally made landfall looks like uh, for the fifth or sixth time uh, as she is now firmly uh, between Gainesville and Jacksonville as a tropical storm. Uh, 45 mile per hour winds. So, I mean still nothing to bat an eye at. It's not a hurricane but it uh, thankfully looks like it's leaving us which is uh, good because as you can see she just kind of took her time went through Central America. She's just kind of toured the Caribbean and now she's finally leaving and we couldn't be happier to see her go. So we'll uh, keep an eye on it because we still have two more storms, uh, Theta and Iota, that are active right now. A record-breaking year for weather as well. Uh, as far as your high today, 65, which is exactly where we should be. 47 for your low tonight. We should be around 45. So again, we're right on the nose where we should be. It just doesn't feel like it because we aren't used to it. But sunny today, a little bit cloudier this weekend, a little bit warmer. We got rain chances that are coming Saturday night into Sunday. And that's going to be as another cold front comes through, drops us down into the uh, low 60s, right around 60 degrees and 50s for some, uh, but we will be into the 30s as we're waking up on Wednesday morning. So some areas, possibly some frost, something we have to keep an eye on as we get close to it. But we'll keep you an eye on it and keep you up to date on line and on air. Well, it is time for some thankful thoughts, and this is from Phyllis Noble. She says, most of all, I am thankful for Jesus, my Lord, and my best friend, and I am thankful for my wonder husband that takes such good care of me. He even bakes my favorite things, like these yummy sticky buns. I have limited physical ability, and my hubby is a true godsend. Well, you know what? If he makes those sticky buns, uh, yep, I, I agree. Good Good pick in there, Phyllis. All right, now I want some sticky buns. Maybe I have to hit the uh, vending machine. All right, well, there's no traffic, but we'll be back in just a few minutes.